Welcome back to another episode of this. Uh, is someone who is waiting for an appointment with uh, the dog, it seems. And this is uh, another one who is taking in all the appointments, of course. Wait a minute. Don't we know this guy? A bright future together with Arazaka. Uh -huh. Like everybody has just white stuff on them. They're like taking notes looking at him being all like oh my god and he's like yeah i want it there and this stuff also different coloring right the white clean workers and you have your uh contrasted uh, in black in this case leader interesting oh now this is an arasaka rubber dog isn't it well, actually, it's kind of a golden-ish, could be anything. Saw a different Ripper here before. Actually, wait. Really? You new here? Seem to remember this ugly, slimy gonk. Type with oozing flesh running this shop. My uncle is not a handsome man, I know. But he is hard to forget once you see him. Prem, yeah. Nothing like serving up a howler first time you meet someone. Talk to him. You think it's a mistake to speak the truth? True or not, it was rude, hurtful. What else would he call it, if not a mistake? Hmm. Ah, and that is why I love to travel. Words. We think we know how to use them, but then there is context. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just started out in this biz. So, just starting out in this biz? No. I move around in this biz. I've run shops in Irkutsk, Leningrad, Vienna, and Glasgow. I thought it was time to try a night city. My uncle rented me the shop because it was my birthday. I'm hmm. 30. I will sit here and run the business until I get bored. Interesting. A night city. What do you think of it? So, our city of dreams. What do you make of it? It's wonderful. Compared to the USSR, it's so different. Hmm. Like it that much? Really? Yes, terribly. You shoot at each other in the street. You must pay for first aid, emergency help. Hmm. It's a nightmare, but so interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, you like it because everybody gets shot. I don't really get Thinking it. Thinking about getting some new chrome. Then I think you'll come to the right place. Perfect. So, what do you have? Let's check out those. Oh, yeah, the maximum six, it seems. The Tetratronic Rippler. Tetratronic. Wasn't this the one that I wanted to have, at least? I think so. Then we also got the Berserk. Mm. MK5. Okay. MK5. Like, this one is only MK4. And then you have your active stuff that goes, goes so much higher. What's this? A Militech Berserk MK... Wait, what? There are two different Berserks. A Z-Attack and a... How's, what's the difference between the two? This one has three mod slots. This one as well. Increases maximum stamina by 40%. And this one, defeating enemies restores 5% health. Uh-huh. Our berserk is after jumping from high height and Snishia has a hero landing. Now this also has a hero landing. And also defeating enemies restores your health. But this one, for some reason, seems to have 40% more health when berserk is active. Yeah. Where's the 40% here? It's not... It's not there. For some reason, this is not as good as this. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, so 15, 15, 15, 10, 60, and this one is... Ah, okay, so that the active values are higher on this one. It's 20, 20, 20, 10, and 30 for the cooldown, so you can use this more often. Uh, this one, not so much, but also the values aren't that high, but you do have some other boosts for health and stamina. Interesting. So, what about this? Uh, allows you to perform quick hacks on targets and devices and so on and so forth. Ultimate quick hacks can spread once. What's about, what about this one? Increases the time it takes for an enemy netrunner to hack you by 100%. That is like, uh-huh, nice to have, but come on. Increases the sub attack run recovery rate by 6. And quick hacks spread distance by 60%. Okay, so this one just spreads further. Uh-huh. And it has, what about the, uh, reduces the ramp cost of ultimate quick hacks by three. Interesting. So now I can basically spam those. I, that's amazing. Only problem is this thing costs an arm and a leg again. It uses the, what is this, 1086? And this is also 1086. So the values are the same. So I don't, I'm not, 
yeah, affected negatively. The quick hack cooldown is reduced as well and reduces quick hack upload time as well by 75%. That means it gets uploaded even quicker than that. That's actually pretty decent. That is really pretty decent. Uh, only problem is hyper attack RAM recovery rate by 6 units per 60 seconds. Does this one have any boost? The only thing that this one does is it reduces the RAM cost of ultimate quick hacks by 3 generally but if it reduces it then i don't need to spam as much right so i have a few of them uh still left hmm so maybe i don't even need that much of a regeneration for this because the amount that it can regenerate at a certain speed will be the same as this one but to be honest i just have to exchange this um get used to it and then just uh See what happened. So what do we got here? The normal eye, of course. This one enhances. Huh, that's nice. This one also enhances your uh, vision. Empty cyberware mod slot. Uh, okay. Automatically highlight enemies who have detected you. Sure, 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 sure. What about this? Um. Oh, crit stuff. Mm, you have your normal 10% bonus crit damage and increases damage to drones. There. Nah, don't need that. When your cyber diagram reaches two, instantly free 20% of it. Cool. Then it's four minutes. Nah. I would rather go with that. Increase cybergram recovery rate by point something seconds. Uh, yep, that basically doubles it. So let's take this one, put that in, and now we regenerate even more. St uh, not stamina, RAM. Perfect. What about the cir uh, circulatory stuff? All of this is already owned, and I, of course, can't really utilize it because I don't have the body stat. Instantly restores 30% health when health drops to 15%. Mm, the bio monitor. Instantly restores 10% stamina when you defeat an enemy. Sure. Drops to an enemy, release an electroshock that deals. Ah. Damage equal to 20% of the target enemy's maximum health. Okay. When your health drops to 15%. An electroshock that deals damage equal to 20% of the target enemy's max health. I think this is uh, what kills me all the time. Either this or for some reason I just stumble and take an enormous amount of damage. Hmm. Okay. I would say that I should take this one out and this one in. So, yeah. I would say that this is much better. So I don't die immediately. All right, um, yeah, wait a minute. What does she have in trade? Ooh, finally, a monowire thermal damage thing that can be crafted. That's perfect. And sensory amplifier allows you to craft a cyber mod. I don't know what the sensory thing actually does, but it could be good. Increases duration by 0.7 seconds. The overloaded processor, Sender Vistan. Uh -huh. Thermal Ryan was this expert. Mm -hmm. Ah, so this is for the animal knuckles. Causes internal bleeding on successful hits, which is basically all the time. And yeah, how am I going to get the money back from her? <clears throat> so there's nothing in the immune system. What about this? Nah. I own most of that, but I can't really use it. There we go. Increases armor by 50. I don't go for 50. And it would just take uh, slots of something else as well. Okay, don't need this. Mm, these are just rare ones and what about the hands i have the hands as well it's just the smart targeting thing i don't utilize smart targeting hmm that's just it i don't even use ricochet in all smart targeting so what about the skeleton let's see maybe there's good stuff here too Ooh. requirements of course <sighs> the re requirement for this is a high reflex or a high body <laughs> hmm a body stat both of which i don't have Incre of course if you have an awful lot of body you get even more health if you take this uh and even more stamina so you can carry even more stuff increases stamina by 30 percent yeah, it's basically the same. Um, the bionic lungs and whatnot. What about... What's so special about this one? Increased stamina cost of melee attacks? Yeah, that makes it more special. And the base damage of melee attacks also goes up. Mm, what else do I have? Uh, this one was the carrying capacity, but I don't really need that. Uh, attack speed might be good, but no. 
this base damage of melee weapons by hmm this one would need reflexes so i'm kind of stuck with this setup here because i can't get better things Alrighty, now back to the cyberware let's get ourselves some nice cyber hacks in here too some of them are new for some reason and i just yeah that's weird hmm like all of those quick hacks somehow turned into ultimate quick hacks. Like I had some, this one was green before, the backup one. Cause over one enemy squad member can be executed on enemies engaged in combat. So is that in any way special or what? I don't know. So let's see, uh, I kind of like the whole contagion thing. That was really cool. Then I also uh, like the... Uh, the, 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 well, not the several malfunction thing that was cool, but not really that cool. The memory wipe would have been a really good addition to it. And I also want to have the overheat just in case. And uh, because it's just, yeah, 6 RAM, it reduces it to 3 RAM. Oh, that's amazing. And ping is because it's an ultimate quick hack, isn't it? Well, is this also, is this considered to be an ultimate version of it? I think so. Or our ultimate, what does it? Ah, ah, okay. So Cyber Psychosis is ultimate. That's what they are calling. Reduces the RAM cost of ultimate quick hacks by three. Ah. So uh, this one is just combat. It doesn't really say that it's ultimate. This is ultimate. Mm, it can be used all the time. That's just great. Same as this one. The epic. It needs to have the quick hack type ultimate and then you can use it. The problem is most of the quick hacks that I like to use a lot are not the ultimate kind. Like this one for example, uh, this one or this one. Like the ultimate kind are just too extreme. Like you, I don't want to uh, turn them into psychos also. That's the status of drones, mechs and robots to friendly, making them turn against uh, your enemy. If no other allies are nearby, the target will commit suicide. Yeah, nice. It's a, it's a bit too much. That means that this Tetratronic Rippler thing might not be the best uh, pick for this. Okay, so this one has 12... Oh, this one has 12 RAM costs on it. And nothing changed. It still has 12 RAM costs. Whatever. Let's discard the thing. Hmm. Is there really no other ultimate quick hack in here that I could use? It's just the cooldown that's uh, reduced and the upload time that's reduced. Too bad I can't switch anything in here. Hmm. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Ultimate quick hack uh, can spread once. Yeah, that's nice. So that means I can... Ah, why is it not ultimate? Hmm. I need other kinds of quick hacks. Or at least. I have to talk to her again. Maybe she has a different set that I could use in there. Like the Raven microfiber is still pretty good. Um, hmm. Because of the cyberdeck recovery rate. Uh, okay, so what's the problem that I have to face most of the time. Is it a recovery rate? Or what is it actually? Hmm. Or maybe it's just the, yeah, it's, most of the time it's just the cooldown of the spells uh, themselves. So, hmm. That means I have to pick uh, spells that are easy to set up. Or easy to cast. So yeah, this one here, uh, 6 RAM cost, yeah, it's nice. And the, uh, what's the other one? Like short circuit has to go on the end. Let's go for weapon glitch there, maybe. And... Oh, actually... This one goes away. I need a short circuit and contagion. Uh, let's not go for contagion at the beginning. Let's go for short circuit at the beginning. Or is it short circuit goes in and contagion. And then we could go for overheat because it's cool. 
and what else could we go for what am i using uh reboot optics is cool and the ping is cool i don't know what this one can do i can use the whistle on it yeah I can definitely do the ping. Hmm. Yeah, this one has breach protocol and some other interesting device hacks. But I have no idea how to utilize them. So what else do we need? The cripple movement is a nice one. But it doesn't do that much. I would say that blinding the enemy is much better than just uh, holding them in place. Mm, sonic shock. Deficit target, reducing the ability to detect any sign. Nah. Alright. Subwell malfunction is also controlled. Like, why is it that the most extreme ones here... Look, look at this. <laughs> 12 RAM cost. Maybe it's just the RAM cost. What about this one? 11. Okay. So the difference between a normal quick hack and an ultimate one is the increase in RAM cost by like 100%. Like this is 11. Then you have... Yeah. I only have this one. That's 11. That's 11. That's 12. All three of them are ultimate. None of them are in any way useful. <laughs> uh, too bad. All right. Now, let's just go into the inventory and uh, disassemble some items so I can get some stuff back. So this was seems to be almost a Ripper Dog episode from start to finish. Could have just... Uh, 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 it's definitely something for the stash, isn't it? So, oh yes. Let's see if I can turn something in here into money or not. Sure, we got that. What about the Nikas? 200 something. I might be at the end of the crafting tree at some point. Come on. Okay, I disassembled a ton of those Nikola thingies. Uh, most of those Tian Sha Tian Chiang? Is it Tian Sha or Tian Ka? Uh. And 20 of these. Okay. Good. What about my crafting spec? Not maxed out now. Still not. Got to be kidding me. Alright, let's make like 10 or so. I always want to make as much until my experience is somehow at the end of the next tab. The problem is if I like I can't make enough because look at this. The experience doesn't go up high enough. What I need to do is maybe craft some of those with like the high amount of items in there. Don't even know if that makes sense or not because it's just too many rare components that you need for this. And also, I would not get the good mods on there. It's just nice to have. It would be better of just crafting those skirts here. Maybe I would. Let's just make three of them. Yeah. You can make two, and that's it. <laughs> not more, not less. That's it. So, let's get out of here and get all of our money back. Sure, it's still 90 something thousand. Uh, let's sell some of these. So, kind of half of that, that should be okay. Let's go up to the uncommon ones. Half of that, that's another 20. Okay, it seems as if I have to sell a few more than this. And another bit. I actually want to end up with, let's say, actually all of it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, 18,000. What do I have to sell to get 18,000 out of that? Maybe that. No, actually, no, cancel. This is rare quick. No, I don't want to use quick hack components for it. Half of that, maybe. 
Okay, just 8,000. I could do the trick. Let's take half of these again. Uh, and this is basically all right now, isn't it? Yes. Hey. And we got all our money. Perfect. Only thing she can do is hope to get a vendor for all of that. What about my cyberware? This one is just equipped. Do we have legendary cyber hacks, quick hacks, whatever? That would be cool. And also, what about my mods for the Kiroshi? This one turns everything into non-lethal damage. And headshots do not deal additional damage and smart weapons primarily target limbs. Yeah, that's great. But I only have this or this. Yeah, bonus crit chance. And also to see the precious exploding radius of your grenades. Yeah, that's nice to have, but come on. Come on. Okay, wait a minute. I did craft stuff, didn't I? Um need to get to the inventory. I was looking for that tab here. To disassemble this, yes. And we got just a few items back. And I did two of those skirts. Ooh, nice. Movement speed by 13. That's neat. So let's get the coal beam. There it is. Uh, Righty, so this one goes in there. Oh, wait a minute. That's weird. How is it that there's a rare Arasaka suit in there too? That is strange. I can just disassemble this. Do I, I don't even know what I get from this. Mm, but I do have another hazmat suit here. The other one we keep, just in case. Alrighty. So now we went to the Rupert Arc. I could do this thievery thing around the corner, but no. Uh, I want to do this assault in progress, which is right around here. And then we can do these other blue-ish kind of missions. And onwards we go. Whoa. I would say that, yeah, no one actually drives like that. Holy crap. Uh, it's really strange looking sideways and moving a different direction. And also kind of losing focus of your bike like that. Now where are they down there? Oh wait, these are the ones. Let's just save and see what we can do here. <sighs> I just sorted it in a way that makes sense, right? What happens now is that the first slot is actually at the uh, at the end. See that? Short circuit is at the end. On top of that is contagion. On top of that is overheat. On top of that is reboot optics. On top of that is ping. On top of that is weapon glitch, right? So let's see how the cyberware is implemented. It's implemented in the other way, right? This is at the top, or at least it should be. But this one is actually at the top. So you have to sort it the other way around in order to make sense in your uh, quick hack tab thingy. But at least this way, I also have all of this stuff pretty much available. That's good. So let's go for contagion on this one. Whoa. Unbelievable, that was quick AF. Let's do another. <laughs> nice. No, this is immediate. That is just amazing. Okay, let's do an overheat on this one. Bam. How much health do they have even? Like a. Where's the other one? I could go with a contagion. Whoa. And there's another one. Uh, I don't have the available RAM now. Aww. Ooh. Okay, so every time I take them out, I get a few RAM again. That's cool. So let's go for a short circuit on this one. Immediate death. Wow. And there was another dude down there, wasn't there? Let's do a ping. Do we have more individuals here? This dude.
for some reason there we go he's not dead yet okay let's wait it's weird sometimes I can just ooh, do this an awful lot and sometimes not and now he just fell off and there's another dude there too I have to be careful what I'm gonna use my ram on let's go for overheat on this dude see what happens how long it takes until this one drops down I don't even see a flame on there look at that I just see damage and if it hi hits a hundred then they're dead all right so the net runner build is amazing and the fact that you can just immediately apply this is also just cool wait a minute um I have to look not at the stats though is it in others? No. Uh, it could be in damage related stuff. Yada 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 yada. Bonus damage against and so on and so forth. Physical, chemical, whatnot damage. Health. Uh, health regen. There we go. I have 20 RAM. Uh, RAM recovery rate in combat is zero. Ooh. And RAM recovery rate outside combat is also zero for some strange reason. Uh, hmm. That's weird. Actually, the RAM recovery rate inside or outside combat is a little bit of uh, a little bit higher because of those uh thingies that i have because of the cyberware like this one here increases cyber deck ram recovery rate by 0.1 units per second right and because it's 0.1 it's not applied as one right and defeating an enemy instantly recovers two cyber deck ram units immediately that's the cool thing now wait a minute how do i cyberware no, these are just the cyberware, cyberware mods. What I need is a list of all the cyberware that I can put on the body. Hmm. What about the, yeah, the monowire? Let's see. Can we have, huh. One, ah, this is the sensory amplifier. This is 30%. So we can either have increased crit chance by 10%. Yeah, and crit damage, of course. But what is this? Right, you cannot have both of them at the same time. That is bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Okay. Now I can either have like chemical damage, physical damage, or thermal damage with all of this. But this one here, I can only have either crit damage bonus or crit chance bonus. Now how like what am I supposed to put on this mod slot here in the middle? What mod? <laughs> Why can't I just pick and choose whatever I want? Uh, won't oh, by the way, uh, I wanted not to look at the stats. I wanted to look at the um, also not at the cyberware. I wanted to look at the the the, the, the character stats here, intelligence uh, in particular, and not here uh, the quick hacking. In fact, because. Reduce the uh, required cybernetic RAM for quick hacks used on devices. Yeah, that's something nice. Uh, allows RAM to recover during combat. Uh-huh. And recover 12 RAM every 60 seconds. Like, this one is supposed to recover some RAM here. This one just... Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack reduces the existing cooldown for all other active quick hacks by 10%. Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers one RAM unit. Okay. Uh -huh. Eliminating it affected by a quick hack. Uh -huh. Reveals an enemy netrunner when you are nope. Deals more damage. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, wait a minute. I do have three perk points. I could just uh, slot them in here, right? Yeah, I could do that. And deal even more damage. Dude. That's interesting. Reduces the cost of quick hacks used against an enemy already affected by a quick hack by two RAM units. Okay. Ah, uh, that's why the amount was that low interesting like you have to sometimes really uh look at what you can apply here available cyber diagram cannot drop below two units oh that's good ram cost of quick hacks by one ram unit again nice 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 and this ram recovery rate is just the best thing <laughs> I will definitely slot all my points in there once I have this thing available, but it takes some time. 
Um, but yeah, eliminating an enemy affected by quick hack instantly recovers one RAM unit. That's that's actually pretty good. And it's slotted in there. And the other two points will be slotted in there. And hmm, on devices. Uh. So let's take that into account. Now let's just pick up all the uh, remaining thingies. Okay, now I'm at 14. Uh, the short circuit usually kills them immediately, but uh, let's go for overheat and see what happens. Yeah. So... Nice. And now I, I don't know how many I have. It says it, I have 20, but it's really difficult to count. It does not say the, uh, the number for it. It just gives me... Uh, a bunch of those RAM icons and then I'm supposed to know how much that is. Uh, it's like giving you a thousand ha uh, rice grains in hand and telling you yeah that's a thousand rice grains just trust me. Of course. There's no way for me to actually count it that quickly or at least I wouldn't know. And let's go for a short circuit and hope that this guy is done for. No nope, it's not. Can I do this again? No. Like two short circuits, look at this. But no. Let's go for overheat real quick. And then do 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 And there goes the enemy. But there's no combat anymore. The quickest encounter ever. So let's see. Okay, that one's somewhere over here, and this one, I don't know, at the start or at the end, depending on. Mm, BD55, BD, BD55, BD. Followed by 7A, 7A, uh, 1C, 7A, and we got it. BD55, BD, 7A, 7A, and... Uh, ah, yeah, there we go. Mmm, I am so stupid. I have to go for BD, 7A. Oh. Gotta be kidding me. This is the only one C, and there's no BD anymore. Oh. I messed this one up. You got to be kidding me. Oh, there was another BD in there. I really need the breach protocol thing that just reduces the codes. But in order to get this, I have to get an attribute in there. Oh. And in order to get attributes, uh, what do I have to do for these then? Hmm? So this one comes at the end, and this one uh, either at the beginning or the end. So let's see. So 55 BD 55. B. No. No. There's no BD in here nor there, so we have to start with um, 55 E9. 50. Oh no, there's a BD. There we go. 55 BD. Uh, 55, followed by E9, 1C, 1C, 55, there we go. So, 55, BD, 55, uh, E9, 1C, 1C, and 55, perfect. It would be nice to know how many of each components you get. It's just the list of items that you get, but not... A complete list that tells me you get so and so many uh, legendary crafting components, so and so many normal crafting, like common uh, or uncommon crafting components. It just tells you you got this and this and this, but we don't tell you the right amount. Figure this out yourself. Uh, like if you pick up items from enemies, right? It tells you that immediately. See that? One group eight and ninety-nine euro dollars. just this little number right next to it saying here 95 and 82 then you have some seven stacks and a strange conversation here between those individuals so um m araki and satoko ito okay uh, araki how's your son 
He took the bait and downloaded the infected picture. That file you sent me was easy to trace, sending you the coordinates and he's no longer my son. Received. Neutralize. Eliminate. Uh, he's a traitor to Kiroshi. He sold our data to the competition. Eliminate the low life that's around him too. Who knows how much he told them. Understood. Wow. So it's basically an exterminatus they kind of did there in a, a small exterminatus. It's not like full scale, a like planet destroying thing. But this is why there are so many bodies down there. Jesus. How come that bridges, for some reason, are so nice when it comes to living conditions, right? Another archive convo. It could be the same stuff. It no. Uh Coito. Okay. He took the bait on the photo. I've marked him. Sending location. Copy. Neutralize. Eliminate. He's a traitor. Any enemy of Kiroshi. Oh, an enemy uh, of Kiroshi. And clean up that trash hanging around him too. We who knows what information he gave them. Right. They're not just talking about those people as people, they're talking about them as trash, right? They dehumanize them. That's one way of increasing uh, the us versus uh, them situation. By not... Yeah, by actually um, ripping them of... Come on. Uh, any human values, right? And if you take any human value away from them, then... What's left behind is whatever value you would uh, attach them afterwards, right? So you take them apart and then you rebuild them in the image that would fit your uh, fit your needs the best. So, and of course we got this strange conversation, another one. And what is it that they are... Ooh talking about here. So many conversations. Okay. Uh, it's the same thing. What about this? Uh, there we go. Arc of conversation. Satoko Ito. Hideo, I know why you left us. As your mother, I asked too much of you. You had to bear too much. Too soon. Please forgive me. Um, you could rack your brains for a thousand years and you still wouldn't understand why I left. Please help me understand then. I'm sending you a picture of your sister. Oh. The file is unavailable because that thing had a virus in it. Did you know uh, she is eight years old already? She asks about you consistent, uh, constantly. She bears our name, which you may still cleanse of the shame you brought on it. Come back and we will forget all about your little stunts with those pretend gangsters of yours. No, I don't believe you. Shame is the only thing you deserve. As for my sister, whose name is Sakura, as I'm sure you forgot. I'm sure she will repay you as well someday for the way you treat her. Ooh. Thanks for the picture. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. Satoko Ito. Okay, so it's Ito uh, and Kiroshi. Ah, huh. like I know Hanako, right? But, uh, I kind of forgot the whole fact, or at least I didn't notice it, uh, that Hanako is not part of the whole, like, Arasaka Corp, yes, uh, but, but I thought the last name was Arasaka, so it was a family corporation or something like that, but no, it's not. Maybe the complete opposite, in fact. So, let's drive this way. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, look at this. Even the palm trees <laughs> have advertisements around them. Ooh. And this is right around the corner. Perfect. Perfect opportunity to end this episode and continue with this a little mini mission in the next one. Until then, like and subscribe. Ta-da! Yeah! Yeah! <sighs>